Evan, as we've been hearing, the CEO of the DAA due to appear before that Oireachtas committee in the next hour. You've had sight of what he's going to say. Yeah, that's right. That plan for the, the holding pens, as Richard has described them, is the main linchpin of Dalton Phillips' statement to the Transport Committee, which he's going to be delivering in person in around about an hour's time. Now, it is worth noting just one nuance to that. It is two and a half hours for short-haul flights and three and a half hours for long-haul flights, and that appears to be irrespective of whether you were intending to check in any luggage. There is nothing in the statement which suggests you have to add extra time for that if you're planning to leave a bag in or whether it's less time if you're only going through security by yourself with hand luggage. It is a universal time, two and a half hours for short-haul and three and a half hours for long haul. One other major aspect to it is that Dalton Phillips says that nobody who missed a flight last weekend should be left out of pocket. So no suggestion of the DAA skimping when it comes to offering compensation for those who miss them. And also apologising to those people and to members of the Oireachtas for what he acknowledges is some reputational damage given the queues last weekend at the country's biggest airport, something which has been acknowledged this lunchtime by the Minister for Foreign Affairs. If this were to happen Again, uh, repeatedly, that would have, a, I think, a significant impact on our international reputation. Um, I think it is important to say that a number of, of airports uh, across Europe are, are facing real challenges at the moment in terms of long queuing systems and um, you know, unacceptable delays to international travel. Dublin isn't the only uh, airport, but I certainly think what happened last weekend uh, is something that is just unacceptable. Um, I think the DA understand that very clearly uh, and it's now up to them. Now there will be a question of reputational damage if that does recur again because there are to be a couple of high profile events in Dublin in the coming days including a big political gathering at the convention centre kicking off tomorrow with a thousand members attending the Aldi Congress. That is a Congress of European political parties of which Fianna Fáil is a member that is expected to include a great number of travelling prime ministers and presidents so there would be some serious embarrassment if the scenes in Dublin airport were to recur again next weekend as they were last weekend. On that note Dalton Phillips does offer one note of somewhat cautious optimism as well. He does say that the number of people who travel through the airport uh, last Friday was the same as the number that travelled on Sunday but there was no similar queuing mishaps on, so on Friday. He says that is because they had a full complement of security staff whereas on Sunday they were missing some staff because there had been a rostering error where some people were expected to work on security gates but it, as it turns out they hadn't yet fully cleared all of security training which meant that they were six gates down which meant that they lost the capacity to process around 1,200 passengers per hour. He says assuming all goes well again this weekend and they've ironed out that rostering dispute there shouldn't, he says, be any repeat of what we saw last weekend.